thrill rides. To many, they're the best part of the fair. But when Steve Fullerton of Bradenton rode the Overlander Express yesterday afternoon, something went wrong. He was right in front. We were going around a bend, going down and around this way, and that's when he went out. Steve Fullerton is hospitalized and may lose a foot. GW Kreitz of Tampa was one of the people who rushed over to help. And I heard a loud bang, and I turned and looked, and I saw the... I saw that there were people on the ground, or a person on the ground, with people, a couple of people, you know, going toward him. And I thought that the fellow had, had had a heart attack. The ride was shut down for several hours following the freak accident. The ride was uh, fully inspected as if it had just come back on the property from another site, went through a full uh, two and a half to three hour inspection. It was then ridden by the state inspectors to ensure that everything was safe. All the mechanical aspects of the ride were looked after. and. Uh, they certified the ride safe, and it reopened about three hours, three and a half hours after the incident. Fullerton says his brother was sitting with the bar across his legs when he was ejected from his seat. But the sheriff's report shows Fullerton told a different story yesterday. The, the investigating officer uh, indicated that uh, the way the person was sitting in the ride, uh, as the car sped up, he had no way to grab and hold on to the ride and basically slid out. Say, for instance, this was the seat, and uh, he was sitting this way with his feet outstretched uh, in that location. The State Fair Authority believes this accident could have been prevented.